Wale Love Hate Thing, and that title, just the name of the song, describes the mood and the mixed feelings of the whole country right now. So we're taking your calls and want to hear your opinion on the Zimmerman verdict. Um, yes, I think it's complete bull. Um, me being a white female, I think that all the race stuff has to end. Mm-hmm. It has to. I think it's ridiculous, and they should have found that man guilty. Where you calling me from? Westwood. We appreciate your call. The Wiz, hello. You want to know what we thought about the Zimmerman trial? Yeah. I think it's and I'm glad that I'm leaving this country. <laughs> I am leaving on August 3rd, and it can't be at a better time. I'm honestly embarrassed. I appreciate your call. I want to remind everyone about the Summer Concert Series, the Gospel Music and Art Series, Increase the Peace Edition. It's going down over there today at Lincoln Park on the corner of Redding Road in Rockdale. We've always been an advocate of promoting peace in our community, so I would like everyone to come out today and support this event. It starts at 3.30 and ends at 6.30. We're going to return at 2.30 with Robin Thick Blurred Lines right here on The Wiz. Hey, Elaine, as a white female in America, how do you feel about the verdict? I woke up today and, like, it just embarrassed me to be who I am and that five people like me can't make the right decision. Uh, you know, like, it, it just blows my mind. But for sure, as females, they'd be able, at least be able to see, like, you know, it could be their own kid, you know? Mm-hmm. See it from their perspective. But uh, it makes me so angry, and I, I don't know. I woke up this morning embarrassed and sad and not proud to be an American at all. All right, well, Elaine, I definitely appreciate you calling and voicing your opinion right here on The Wiz, okay? Yeah, 101.1 The Wiz. I love it. Thank you. J. Cole, Crooked Smile right here on 101.1 The Wiz, and that is only hip-hop and R&B stationed inside of the Sunday School. And I'm taking your calls about the Zimmerman verdict. Hey, Tiffany, what's on your mind? I was just thinking about that. Me and my fiancé was in the house talking about the Zimmerman trial mm-hmm. and how I was just saying it would be real upsetting. That just took us back a whole bunch of years with white men killing black men and getting away with it. Mm. I just don't, I, I don't dig it. All right, well, I appreciate your call. Where you calling from? Cincinnati, Ohio, from South Manor. I got future in ASAP Rocky when we return at 426. Hey, how you doing, Monique? What's on your mind? I just wanted to make a comment about the issue that's obviously a bore right now, and I feel like it's, everybody's basing it on race as of right now, and I feel like it's not race, it's our youth that we should be concerned about in today's society. Mm-hmm. So I feel like these comments should be set on the back burner, and we should be talking more about our youth and what we can do for our youth to make sure this doesn't happen again. From that aspect, let's put race on the back burner. How do you feel about the overall verdict? Was I shocked to some degree, but then again, I mean, the law is a law, and people don't agree with the law, and do I agree with the verdict? Not all the way. Mm -hmm. Did I have a choice in it? No, so therefore I can't be as abrupt about that situation, but what I can be upset about is the fact that our youth are, you know, fighting this, and that that is a crime itself, that, you know, our children have to go out into society scared, uh, worried about being shot, or worried about what colors they're wearing, or who they're hanging out with. And those are all points that a lot of people may or may not disagree with, but we appreciate you taking time to call us and voice your opinion, okay? Thank you.